welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel my name is patricia welcome definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel guys if you haven't yet if you're new here you just gotta subscribe to girl you know i know you want to anyway guys welcome to my channel today's video i'm just doing a um, kind of introducing my dog and it's like more of a storytelling so i'll be blabbing a lot and kind of explaining to you guys what happened and how i got my dog into the uk and the reason why it took me three months to get him into the uk and what happened and so on anyway guys i will show you guys him now he's sleeping so come here babies say hi say hello say hello to them babies his name is elroy and he might i love him so much and we sleep here every day together don't we babies okay he's just gonna go sleep Stay here so you can stay in the shop. No, 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 no. It's not there. He just wants to be under my leg. I think I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see. He snores. So all this thing that you guys are hearing is him snoring. Anyway, guys, this is El Roy. We call him Roy. And he's a little boy and he's only five months. He's gonna be six months in what day is today? Seven. So in seven days he's gonna be six months and i just don't wait i'm gonna get him a lovely cake and just say happy birthday just because it's like his first birthday with me not his second birthday with me kind of it's not really his birthday but you know what i mean so okay there we go perfect that is perfect anyway like i was saying right what happened was i got him in portugal i really wanted a dog i got him in portugal and stuff and then we were there the whole summer, everything went amazing, all good, blah 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 and then we went to the vet to check if everyone was okay with him, to give give him like a bath and everything, all of this like because he was a bit dirty and stuff but they said I couldn't give him a bath so I had to get these wipes to like wipe him up but she checked him, she put a ship on him and then uh, she gave me his passport and then she gave me this, um, the, what do you call, the worms thing as well and that was about it so I wanted him to get the vaccine he needs to come to England and uh, that is the rabbit rabbit one I think that's what it's called yeah so I tried to get to do that and then that didn't work so we so she said that he can't until he's three months and at the time he was two months so he couldn't have the vaccine until he was three months and I was leaving Portugal on the 20th 19th of August and he was going to be three months in September the 14th so I was just like shit uh that can't happen so I, w I didn't want to leave him in there because I'm not I don't live in Portugal all my family lives in here and all the people that were, I was in all my family that we was in Portugal with me at the time they all also don't live in, in Portugal so I was just like, who am I gonna leave him with? I could have actually, now that I know, I know I could have actually left him with my dad, but for some reason I didn't think of that. And then at the same time, I was thinking like, how would I then go pick him up, you know? Cause I was traveling back to England by car with my cousin. So then I, and then when I was at the vet as well, the lady kind of insinuated a way that I could, I could just try travel with him, but, it was at my own risk kind of thing so and then when i searched online i was like doing loads of research like i just research a lot and stuff so i was just doing loads of research all of this and then i thought okay you know what i think he'll be okay because he's not three months obviously he can't take the vaccine so he'll be okay to travel with so that is what i thought it would have been okay so it comes to the day patricia live in portugal i'm traveling by car we we get all the way to France. Nine hours later, we get all the way to France. There was me, my two cousins, and the dog. So we were both travel. We all fr the three of us are traveling plus the dog to to UK. So we get to the fr to France, the border. Actually, we also with my cousin's girlfriend. So there was four of us and the dog. So uh, we drop her off in France like Paris and then we get to the border so we get to the border and the guy says to us uh, no the, the well they're trying to go we give his passport and everything they're like uh there's an issue with the pet like the puppy you can't travel with him without the vaccine you don't have the main stuff and the main stuff was the rabbit vaccination he can't travel without that 
and he couldn't also travel without um he couldn't also travel without the worms you have to be within 24 hours to five days before travel so he need to also have the worms thing so he didn't have neither because the first time he took the worms was like 20 days before no it was like 10 days before i think so it was not on time either so those are the two things so then they told us to go to this other guy we speak with to speak with him and see like the office like reception area kind of thing so we kind of had to drive around, go there, we went there, he was like, oh, you guys can't travel, da, da, da. And then slightly he was telling us, it made it seem like he was going to let us to travel. And then I was like, look, we can't miss, like, uh, me and him already staying was already, like, spending a lot of money for us. Let alone I couldn't allow my cousin to kind of, my cousins to meet, miss the boat because there will be more money over there as well. So kind of just be away, so I told them just go. So I literally stayed in the border of France with this puppy. He was like two months old and me both just there and we had nowhere to go. Like nowhere to go. So we stayed there. My cousin was like, look, I'm going to speak with my girlfriend and then you guys can, uh, she'll come and pick you guys up. So I was like, cool, but she only finished work at 10. And bear in mind, guys, it was 2 o'clock. She was only going to finish work at like 10. So, And then from where we were and where she was in Paris, it was literally four hours drive. So imagine if she finished work at 10, it, was still, it would take still four hours for her to drive to me. And then within this gap, it turns out that she went home and then her car didn't start. So she even got late to work that day. And then she obviously wouldn't be able to come pick me up because her car didn't start. So I was kind of stuck in there. So there's me crying. I'm literally in tears, guys. Crying so much. Desperate, not knowing what to do. I literally, the guy literally told me, you guys illegally crossed the border with the dog without the vaccine. You should have never crossed Portugal to, Fra to France, to, pa to uh, Portugal, to Spain, Spain to, to France without having that vaccine. But we didn't, like, I didn't intentionally, I didn't, actually no this was an issue slightly I, I thought it would have been okay because he was not three months i thought like it would be illegal if he was past the three months that's what i can't it was in my head don't worry then i called my aunt my aunt calls her friends like people just calling people they know in france and i was just desperate i was like uh contacting all my friends in uk we like look this is happening to me and they're all everyone just trying to help and stuff and i was like just crying like and like i wasn't crying i was crying because like obviously i would never abandon him i would not leave him anywhere so i couldn't just leave him or and like you know just go i wouldn't be able to do that i wouldn't be able to you know i was just crying because i didn't know what was gonna happen to him and me like i i knew i would be okay but i didn't know how he would be you know so i was just crying oh my god so i was just crying loads i even have some clips of me crying and everything because it was like cleaning my tears so i'll just show you guys the clips but it was so so sad and then um with all of this my auntie's friend said he'll be able to pick me up in paris if i find a way to get to paris right so how the hell am i gonna get to paris there's no uber goes all the way there there's no taxis that go all the way there there was absolutely nothing nothing so i was like but i have nowhere to get here regardless of whether i have money or not i cannot leave this place so because obviously i needed euros to pay or taxi or whatever I couldn't so I was just like there's nothing I can do like I actually can't leave this place I was just crying and then this lovely lady like oh my god she was just so nice and then she even apologized for her colleague because he was so rude and it's not the fact that okay he was doing his job but he wasn't doing it like how do you know how you know something is bad for the person and you know like the person is obviously upset because they're not aware of the whole situation and instead of you like being like oh I'm sorry but I mean, it is the rules and I'm not, I can't do anything about it. You were just like literally being completely blunt and rude about the whole situation. When we're like completely panicking and just like completely like super upset and stuff. So it was like extremely rude, you know. And I was like, we're all like, what? Like, come on. Like, okay, we get it. Like, I can't travel with him and stuff. But you don't just like be rude to us and just like be so blunt about it. Like, it's like, yeah, whatever. Like, fuck you. Like, why, why did you do that anyway? So it was like really mean and stuff. And then this lady, like everyone that was just coming, there was this man. He came in and he was like, oh, I'm traveling, I'm going by myself, do you want to just jump in? And I was like, I wish I could. He goes, I can just take you to UK, like, just, you can just jump in the car, like, it's not any extra money or anything. And I was like, I wish I could, but I just can't because of the pet. And he goes, oh, okay. 
and then the lady that works there so then she comes to me and she she was like do you want me to i can i can help you buy a ticket to paris and i can drop you off at the train station and I, I was just crying guys and i was like oh my god thank you so much i guess like, i finished my my shift in like 20 minutes and this time it's six o'clock already guys and she finished her shift at six and my train would be at six thirty, and it literally took us half an hour to get to the station so there's me my bag my um his cage and him and he's just crying and like he's obviously just a little puppy and he like hates his cage so every time i had to put him in the cage and i had the bags and like it was just guys it was just like oh my god it was insane and then like we get to and then the lady goes oh yeah i'm gonna i can take you there but you're gonna have to buy your ticket before we get there so then she goes on oh, no, this website she buys me the ticket everything to take me to paris so she buys me everything on her phone and there's me like trying to like i did not know french for shit and the english obviously you know like she just she was just trying as much as she could uh, so then we managed to get the ticket everything done perfect she then emailed then i received the email of the ticket on my phone all of this done we get there and literally i had like i think five minutes to get to the actual train platform so then she kind of explained to me how to get there she couldn't park actually at the station because of the way things were so she had to kind of park further down and then i had to kind of run pretty much to the station so there's me elroy we just like and the bags and the cage and everything running there um and then at this point i obviously calmed down and everything i spoke to my family everyone was kind of worried and i was just like yeah so then it was fine then i got to paris and my auntie's friend came to pick me up so then he would take me so i get to paris i think i round eight o'clock i think yeah because then i had to get two trains so i had to get a train from uh dunkirk i think that's where i was to um where was it to some other place which i don't remember now and then from there i had to get another train to paris and that train it took it was like about 15 minutes or 20 minutes wait between the trains on arrival and then catching the other one so then Elroy was just barking and just upset and at this point I didn't even know whether I was allowed to be with my pet on the train I actually didn't know so I was just thinking imagine someone's gonna come to me now and tell me that I cannot have my pet on the train station because I had no idea the lady said I think you can so like I actually had no clue whether I was doing something already legal again in France so I was just like like imagine if they come to me now and tell me look Patricia well, not Patricia, but look, lady, you can't be on the train with a pet. I'll be like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Because I will literally just bust, bust in tears, like, guys, oh my god. But so that was then. I finally arrived in Paris, and then I'm speaking to my aunt's friend. He's already there waiting for me. He came, he picked me up, and then my cousin's girlfriend sent me her address. So I went to her house and poor little Elroy just stayed in her house we get to the, her house at the end of the day I got to her house about 11 nearly midnight I got there bear in mind guys I had no food all this time so I was starving like so hungry Elroy had his food because I had his food with me so I just gave him food so he was fine but I was not fine so guys let me just insert the clip here where he was literally just cleaning my tears i'll literally just have it here guys just just watch this game oh guys it was just it was so emotional like i was so upset and then i cried loads obviously to leave him and then like i she agreed to stay with him for like until he was it was about i think two weeks for him to be three months three weeks kind of thing for him to be three months so she agreed to stay with him and then give him the vaccine because after he takes the vaccine he still had to wait 21 days before you can travel with the pet so um we he takes the vaccine no then uh i leave him there i come back the next day to uk i had work actually that day i missed work and i get to the uk the next day and um so i travel yeah i get on the plane on the train straight away the next day no i got coach actually which was about eight hours i think yeah on the coach tk i get to the um, victoria and from victoria i had to get obviously a train to peterborough 
uh, no, underground to so King's Cross, King's Cross, a train to Peterborough. So that was it. And then, so that was the lovely story of how I left Paris. And this is how I first, I've never been to Paris, I've never been to France, and this was my first trip to France. And like I always say, it had to be my French bulldog to actually take me to France. But yeah so that was the nightmare of france so that was that and then a few weeks later he's with her and he's been very well like she's been taking care of him really well he's her mum loved him so much so they took really well care of him like they were like i can't be i was i can't be more thankful to them for what they did and i was pretty much a, a stranger to them so it was very nice what they did and it was very kind and Elro is very thankful too so then that happened and then my cousin's girlfriend goes to the vet and finds out that Fergie, that because we illegally crossed the border with him then he would have to stay after the vaccine he would have to stay in, in france for about six months or something to be monetized i was like what <coughs> Yeah, so, and then apparently I was going to have to wait another six months after the, vac the vaccine for him to be monetized the whole time before he could e travel again. I was like, no way I'm waiting until next year to have my dog. What the fuck? What the fuck? Stop playing. What the fuck? Stop playing. What the fuck is that? Ah! What the fuck is that? I'm scared. So, there's me literally thinking when the hell am i gonna have my dog like what the hell is happening it's been all this time and then i can't like i can't just have this news you know and i was like really upset and then i called i spoke with my sister-in-law and she was like yeah um we can just go pick him up this week da, 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 and we can stay with him and then we see the vaccine and everything because if he had to stay six months obviously she wouldn't be able to my cousin's girlfriend wouldn't be able to stay with him like obviously it's a lot of time and that's not what i agreed with so obviously i couldn't commit to making or anything like what she done to me already was amazing i couldn't be more thankful for that and to be honest i don't know why i didn't think of telling my brother to go pick him up from the beginning anyway but yeah but anyway so i did tell my uh then i spoke with my brother and my uh sister-in-law and everything and they were like yeah we'll go pick him up this week so i think three or four days later they went to pick him up and it's about like three four hours drive from uh paris to luck so they did that they went to pick him up and they stayed with him up until uh now in november when I went to pick him. In Luxembourg, yeah, that's it. In Luxembourg, then he stays in there, and then they say that he can't take his vaccine until he's four months. <laughs> and we're like, what everywhere else in the world, it says you have to be three months to take the vaccine. Oh no, it had to be four months, right. So then we wait another month. So it comes to October, he's finally four months, and we're like, okay, he can take his vaccine. So then Ricardo, my, my brother Ricardo goes to a different vet, and they say, well, he could have had his vaccine for time. Because then my brother gets uh, this little puppy as well uh, for my cousin, my sister's little sister. He gets her this puppy. Uh, Happy as well and he was about what a month or so and he was able to take his vaccine what he was able to take his vaccine straight away guys what the hell he took everything and he was like two months or something like what the hell oh and my one that was like four months was not even allowed to have his yet like i was fuming like oh my god why no way no way when my brother told me i was like no way no fucking way away all this fucking time for nothing because he could have had it a long time if we have just gone to different vet and not trusted the same vet that just told us no it have to be for months have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had your 
you you could you do you you want you you could do like really really guys wow it was it was disgusting it was disgusting behavior like he didn't do this to anyone like this is so evil like did the ladies just not want me to have the dog or something like like why why would you say such thing you know the little puppy the other one he took his vaccine straight away and roy was not able until he was like four what different why like why that that is extremely rude but anyway Elroy finally got his appointment because then he had we had to make an appointment for him to get his vaccine He couldn't just go in walk in and just give it to him. We had to actually book an appointment So we booked the appointment and it comes to November. That's when he takes all the vaccines I think he took about three in total. He took two and then he had to go back a week later to take another one so that was perfectly done amazing and uh, so then he got his vaccine and then we just had to wait the 21 days so I could go pick him up. So it fit perfectly because then it was payday as well at the end of the month. So I just went to pick him up then. So we drove there at the end of this month. And yeah, so we went there, we drove there to so pick So then him we up. came to UK, finally we came. And I felt really sorry for my brother because obviously he got really, really attached with him. And... I feel really bad like he cried I cried like I can't be more thankful to my brother and Melissa which is uh, my cousin's girlfriend because what they did was like amazing it was not their pet and they also obviously took really care of him oh my god I'm gonna cry wait wait right obviously they took really care of him and that was like really really touchy and like I just I couldn't be more thankful I was really scared that he was also going to forget me and I have this clip guys when we first because I went to Lux in September to see him so like uh, this is footage of me like get like seeing him again and how excited he was and like I was really really scared that he was going to forget me and he oh my god I was crying after I was how going I was not going to cry Patricia please play because your makeup oh my god why am I crying I can't get Oh my god, wait guys. Right, so yeah, and I had like he literally the way he reacted, I was not expecting it and it was just like amazing and like oh my god guys, it was just so nice and I was like oh my god he didn't actually forget me. Yeah, so I couldn't be more thankful to the guys like I was saying and what they did was very, very, very like I wouldn't even say nice, I would just say like it was like one of the best things anyone could have done for me all right so it was very nice and yeah but anyway guys i'm not gonna talk anymore because i'll just cry ricardo and melissa you guys know how much i love you guys and i could me and roy we both love you guys so much and deborah we couldn't be more thankful for everybody that has taken care of him and has loved him throughout this whole time we love you guys so much but I don't want to go into this anymore because I was just crying like I can't believe I'm crying Like no, he's far away Hello! Hello everybody! Hello! Hello! Da beijinho! Da beijinho! Da beijinho! Oi! Oi! Da beijinho! Da beijinho! Oi! Da beijinho! I love you baby! I love you! Like I was saying, that was the end of my video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And definitely make sure you like this video if you haven't liked this video. And guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always, always active there. And Roy and I love you guys forever. So, see you guys on my next video. <laughs> Bye.